reach their dreams in life. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I grew up in a small town. Uh, I was born in Montgomery, Alabama. I grew up in a small country town right outside of Montgomery, uh, close to Selma. I don't know how, what the population was. Like, <laughs> I didn't keep up with that, but I know my high school class, that was 30 people in my high school class. Uh, it, was still, it was still hard to keep up with those 30 people. Uh, I did graduate, I, I barely graduated, but it wasn't because, it wasn't because uh, I didn't know about schoolwork. It was because I was a dreamer. And then later, on in life, I, later on in life, I realized that I was a dreamer. I spent half the school day dreaming. You know, in class, I have the class, you know, the, the bell would ring and I would come back and be like, man, where were I at? Where was, where was my mind at? I was actually dreaming. I was, so I've been a dreamer almost all my life and I realized that Later on in life that, you know, that I, I was a big dreamer. Um, while I was in high school, I wasn't very athletic. I went out to play football one time, and I had the biggest guy on the football team. He hit me, knocked me about 10 yards back. I got up and went to the locker room, took my pants off, and all my football equipment off, and that was the end of my football career. <laughs> so, from that point, <laughs> I was always a musician, so at that point, uh, I was in the band, I went back to the band, and I stayed in the band the rest of my uh, high school career. Uh, me, and the band, me and the band director became very good friends. Um, I would get in trouble, and the band director would bail me out. He was tall, light-skinned, had good hair. You know, all the teachers liked him, so. Uh, so he became, he became best, really good friends. He was, almost, he was like my mentor. And the thing about that was his father was a principal, so you know, he had to have high standards. He couldn't afford to get in any trouble. Anything you know to make his dad look bad because his dad was the principal of the uh, el the uh, elementary school. So and it kind of like he kind of like mentored me, took me under his wings, and uh, even when the principal said that you know.